What's going on H3 Cruisers? Welcome back to the channel. So we have video number two for today. Yes, I mentioned that in the last video. We have two videos for today. And we talked about the last video, which was Vanessa and should you cancel your cruises. But right now in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the very overused word, in my opinion, outbreak. It's, it's going crazy on cruises. Outbreak. Why is there no outbreaks anywhere else? Just cruises, it seems like. Yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, HC Cruises, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to talk about two very important things, and that is the overused word outbreak that's being used by the media when it comes to cruise lines, and also the other title they love to use, over 99 cruise ships being investigated by the CDC, which those of us that cruise and look into the details know the information, but this is going out to those that are worried about it, and also this is going out to those of you who like to send news articles to friends that are cruising to get them to cancel because you read a news article that scares you and your friend is cruising. So if you're cruising soon and you got a friend that loves to send you those news articles about outbreaks and the CDC investigating 99 plus cruises, send this link to them. Send them this video because we're going to talk about uh, the facts right here, right now. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments from those that don't cruise. They're going to go, but, but, but. But the point is, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys the facts right here in today's episode. And uh, it's very important facts. So first off, let's talk about the word outbreak. The media loves to use the word outbreak. Especially like, let's say the ships that came back with 49 passengers tested positive with covid 49 passengers. That sounds like an outbreak. It really does. I get it. The media did that on purpose. So you hear the word outbreak and it might scare you. And in fact, even the CDC is like, yeah, we recommend you don't go on a cruise right now because you can catch COVID whether you have the vaccine or not, which this is also a fact. I I'm stating nothing but facts here. So first off, if you go to a Christmas party with 100 people and 49 people come back positive with COVID, yes, that is an outbreak. It is 100% an outbreak. Half your people caught COVID pretty much. That, that's very serious. That spread right through your party. But when we look at cruising, 49 people catching COVID, when you look at the numbers of the ship, that is actually 0.72% of all the passengers on that ship, passenger and crew total. So out of everyone on the ship, only 0.72% caught COVID. 0.72% means that 99.28% did not catch COVID. That's correct. 99.28% did not catch COVID on that ship. So therefore, you cannot classify this as an outbreak, especially when 100% of the crew is vaccinated and to get on a cruise ship, it is required that you be vaccinated and test negative before sailing uh, and the constant cleaning measures that are on board the chances of you catching COVID on any of these ships that have an outbreak is a 99% chance you're not going to catch COVID. 99% that you will not catch COVID. So that's the first thing I want to point out. So that overused word outbreak is being thrown around so like easily that it's kind of scary in a way how easily they can throw around the word outbreak when it comes to cruising. But Let's say where I work on Fremont Street in Las Vegas, where the homeless do very, very nasty things to the ground, and then people come later and they stick their hands on the ground and do handstands, and then they grab their drinks or they spill some of their juice on their drink and lick their hand. Yeah, it's it's pretty nasty what I see on a daily basis. And uh, I've seen kids rolling around on the ground on Fremont Street, and I walk over to the parents and go, please, go get your kids to the hotel room and get them washed up because what I just witnessed if only you knew the things that I see on a daily basis you'd be absolutely disgusted by but on a cruise ship we're supposed to be scared of cruising because of outbreak for this uh, 0.72 percent 
of passengers, less than 1% of passengers that are coming up positive. So if you're scared about the word outbreak, just understand that almost every single case of people getting COVID on a cruise ship has been a very low number. On top of that, every single passenger that has tested positive on a cruise ship has come back asymptomatic or mild cases. Not one severe case yet from a cruise ship. And I've done research. I haven't heard anything yet. I've looked into it. I can't find one single severe case yet since post-pandemic of anyone getting a serious case of COVID on a ship. So you can take that fear and throw it out. Now let's talk about the 99%, I mean, sorry, 99 plus cruise ships sailing out of the United States being investigated by the CDC. And the CDC saying you shouldn't get co or you shouldn't go on a cruise because there's the possibility of catching COVID. Again, when you have more chances of catching COVID, taking your drive down to Phoenix, Arizona and coming back than you do on a cruise ship or even in a daily -day, day settings, going to the store or anything else, you're more likely to catch COVID. In fact, I know more people that tested positive doing simple things around town than those on a cruise ship who went on a cruise multiple times, still hasn't come back you know, positive. So with that said, let's talk about those 99 plus cruises, uh, cruise ships that are being investigated. Now, when you go to the CDC's website and look at cruise tracking for the CDC, there are four colors. There's green, there's orange, there's yellow, there's red. Green means there is zero cases of COVID on that ship. And I think there's only one ship in green right now. The rest are in yellow. The second color is orange. Orange is the color that says there's COVID cases, but not enough to meet the threshold for investigation. None of the cruise ships have that orange. Now there's yellow, says it's met the threshold required for an investigation by the CDC. And all of them are yellow pretty much. And then there's red, which means it's overwhelming. It's an outbreak, a real outbreak. Uh, and the medical staff cannot handle the number of cases that are on board and there's just too much to handle. And there are zero red situations. They are all yellow. Okay, so let's talk about yellow. What does it take for a cruise ship to be classified as yellow for the CDC to go, hey, boss, this ship is now yellow. We need to look into it. What does it take? Well, honestly, it really doesn't take much. In fact, it only takes one crew member on board to test positive. One crew member test positive and the ship is yellow. Now, as far as passengers, it takes 0.1% percent that is a tenth of a percent of all of passengers to test positive for the ship to be under investigation now as long as it's not outbreak worthy where it's overwhelming then it stays in yellow until it has seven days without you know that many cases now what is 0.1 percent well in the situation let's just say two and a half thousand passengers on board if you take a cal calculator, 2,500 times that by 0 .001, because that's a tenth of a percent, you get 2.5 passengers. So essentially, if three passengers test positive for COVID on a ship that's got 2,500 passengers, you are looking at an investigation. So what happens with these investigations once they've come up to this point? Well, once three passengers or one crew member test positive on a ship that's got 2,500 passengers, the ship goes into an investigation, the CDC looks into it, goes, okay, so the protocols are you put these people in quarantine. Did you do that? Yes, those people were put in quarantine. Did you do a trace to make sure no one else has uh, COVID? Yes, you did a trace. You test those people. They did not come up positive or they did. And the cycle goes on. Okay, you did everything you're supposed to. Is it overwhelming your ship? No. Is is the numbers too high? No. Okay, you're good. We're going to keep you at yellow until seven days after all cases clear. So when there's no cases for seven days, then the ship is clear. That's it. So once the ship goes yellow, it's yellow for a minimum of seven days. And the chances are one crew member or three passengers are going to constantly be COVID positive. It's just going to happen. But that number, 0.1% is nothing. And really, the numbers that are coming out is less than a 1% of passengers catching COVID on board. So you can take all that information I just told you, which was all 100% fact. You can go to Google. You can type in CDC uh, 
COVID cases on cruises and it'll pull up the direct CDC link and you can look at all the ships, you can look at their color code and look at what each color code means if you do not believe me for any uh, reason. In fact, I'll be nice. I'll put it down in the description. If you want to look up the link and look up all the information I just gave you, just in case you don't believe what I said, because I know someone's going to come in the comments and say I'm lying, which is really sad. But no, I've done my research. I'm a travel agent. I got to know this stuff. So the point is, the number of ships being uh, investigated means absolutely nothing. As long as they are not in red. If we start seeing ships in red, then we're going to have an issue. Uh, but there are zero ships in red. Also, there is no real outbreak as the media throws it. So I hope that anyone that's been shared this video has taken this information that I've shared with you guys and listened to it and maybe even fact checked what I said with the link right below straight from the CDC's website. It is, it's safe to cruise. The chances of you catching it is slim to none. So if you have a cruise coming up, go out and enjoy it. If you have friends that are cruising and you don't cruise, don't send them links. I'll talk about that in another video because that, that's a serious problem we need to discuss. So that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. And again, I think I forgot to mention it. If I did, I can't remember. Smash that subscribe button. Smash the alert button if you want to be alerted whenever we upload videos from our new cruise news to our cruise vlogs and everything else we do. Hit the subscribe. Hit the um, alert. We do have a whopping goal of 10,000 subscribers for 2022. That is our New Year's resolution. Yes, 10,000 subscribers. Absolutely insane. But that's our goal for this year, and we can't do that without you guys. So we love each and every one of you. Take care. Enjoy your upcoming cruises. And if you don't cruise, don't scare your cruise friends. That's pretty much the story here. I'm out. See you guys next time.